Hello everybody and welcome to my quick tutorial on how to draw plumbing lines, or any line really in general, uh, in Cabinet Vision version 8.0. Alright, so getting started here, I drew a couple of walls. In fact, I'll show you how, pretty much from start up. So this is your blank uh, plan view. I'm going to go to walls. I'm going to draw two walls at a 90 degree angle from each other. And there's two ways, different ways of doing this, okay? The, the beginner way of doing it is going to be going over here to CAD on the side of the screen, F7, click that once, go up to the top, click your lines, and you're going to want to go, let's say we zoom in here, I'm using my scroll um, on my mouse, I got the scroll ball, so it goes in and out, I like to use that. You can also use your space bar, uh, if, you push, if you push the space bar wherever your, your mouse is, it'll center on that, it's kind of cool, it's a good way to move around the screen, see how I'm moving, you kind of go wherever I want. Uh, okay, so back to the tutorial. Uh, <laughs> All right, here's the line. So I'm going to draw draw a line right here. Now there's a point right here. Now if you don't see that point, uh, that's basically a snap to point, is what they call it. Uh, you can go over here and you can click it. See, so notice how I can click it on and off. Well, this one doesn't. This is a buggy version of Cabinet Vision, honestly. Oh wait, no, no, it, it's working. Sorry, just can't see it. All right, so you go over here. You'll see the little point. It'll actually kind of snap to it. You can draw once. Now you see I got the line right there. It's connected to that end. And what you can do is you can draw it all the way over and really put it anywhere you want. Uh, you can also drag your mouse up here to the length. And the length, let's say your plumbing is 36 inches off the wall, so put 36. Oh, you need to lock your angle first. So your angle right here is going up at some weird 151.4. So put zero, and that'll that'll put it out to that to the right. Um, if you want it to be uh, at the other side, you need to do 180. If you want it to go up, you need to do 90. If you want it to go down, go negative 90, and et cetera, et cetera. So, Zero, and uh, let's keep it at 36. Enter, push the enter button, and then you can go and put a dimension on it. So I like to use this dimension, and if you go over here, your dimension style is simple. I like, you can either use simple, which will just, what that'll do is it'll, it'll draw it right here, and you won't be able to change it. It kind of goes right off the wall. That's a great one. Uh, another one I like to use is linear. So grab linear, take that, you draw the two, and then you can drag the, the point wherever you want it. So it'll give you that kind of out of the way. It looks cleaner if you put it up here. All right. So that's pretty much it there. I'm going to show you the faster way of doing it, though, because it's more fun. Okay, so same thing here. I'm going to go back to my screen. I just have two walls drawn. I double-click on it. I click lines. I go over. I draw whatever line I need to, and then I use a dimension tool. So I'm at 41.58. I'm sorry, 41.625. Again, line, draw, click, dimensions, if you want to, you can take this line and change it to 36. That's what I usually like to do is to draw it just freehand and then go back and change it. Uh, or you can change it, you know, like I said earlier, that's fine. And then just do your dimension tool and draw right there. So I've got 36. Now, if you like to make it all fancy looking, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, take your color and change it to blue. So it's like plumbing. There you go, 36. And you can do two or three of these lines. That's why I like to do that linear dimension so it kind of shows it a bit easier. So that's how you draw lines in cabinet vision. All right, so let's get, let's just kind of summarize what we've done here. So use the space bar with your mouse. It'll it'll actually uh, it'll let you move around the screen without scrolling in and out. That's super annoying, by the way. I always use the space bar to, to run around. See, I'm just kind of following my mouse. Keep hitting it uh, to get into the CAD without having to go to the side over here. Nobody pushes F7. I don't know why that's even there. Just double click on the screen right here, and then uh, you got your CAD vision or CAB CAD uh, all up on the top. Okay, so you got all your cool stuff here. You can play around with a lot of these things. I like to t sometimes if you're drawing stuff, you can put like a, uh, you know, cabinet uh, level one, whatever. I mean, you can do whatever you want here. Okay, and then that kind of goes in there. That way you can come back and you can look at it. And you have little notes on your cabinets. It makes it more intuitive or uh, you know more informational. Okay, uh, and then again, yeah, just uh, drawing lines. Make sure your snap to points are on down here. And you can also do it with grid lines, but that's terrible. Nobody has grid lines that are, you know, nothing's perfect. It's always within like a sixteenth of an inch. These grids go down to about, you can put them down to a sixteenth of an inch. Even at that point, you might as well just draw it freehand. Uh, these other ones right here are just uh, snap to marks. You don't really need to worry about that because unless you're marking up your thing, you can actually add marks. I don't really use that feature too much. And then you can do like a reset ruler, which is basically uh, taking your ruler and going uh, measuring stuff on your on your screen. So that's pretty much it. Have a good day.